Hey, what up, what up, ladies and gents? Today, I am here to talk about Seven, also known as V, in my opinion. Um, okay, V is an amazing character, and after his release for the longest time, a lot of people played him terribly because there wasn't really a, a proper way to run V, or at least one wasn't discovered. Now, we have actually come up with build for him, and I say we, but actually it was Truffles, uh, one, of person, one of the people in my community, also my moderator on stream, Truffles who came up with this build, and I'm actually gonna show it to you right now. V is amazeballs, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this off with uh, something simple. Also, sorry, where's my ASMR music? I need my ASMR or else I'll die. Ah, there we go. That's good, that's good, okay. So V starts out with um, this, this particular loadout. It's called ASEAN Test S. Actually, it's certified now. And I'll show you, I'll show you how well it performed uh, based on last night's stream. But this, this build is amazing because it works well with his talent, Spring Loaded. Spring Loaded is exactly what makes this build go. All right, now I'm gonna turn on my cam for a second while I read all this out to you. Spring Loaded will make his explosive dodge drop an explosion where he lands and where he takes off from. Double the bombs. It will decrease the cooldown by 35% and increase the range by 25%. Oh, excuse me. It's after my stream, so I'm a bit tired. Now, this is actually a maze balls. And let me explain why. Explosive dodge is 7 seconds. 35% cooldown reduction. How much is 10% of 7 seconds? 10% is 0 0.7. 0 0.7 times 3, okay, just, just showing you some of the basic math. It's already 2.1 seconds. Basically, explosive dodge is roughly going to be on a 5 second cooldown. It gets better. 5 second cooldown, explosive dodge, right? Okay, it gets better. Because your, um, sorry, where's the talents again? The range of the explosion, uh, sorry, the range of the, of the movement is 25% more, you dash further. That's amazing, okay? It really helps you get in and out of combat. Next, oops, sorry, wrong all that. Next, by increasing the damage radius of the explosive dodge by 50%, your explosions are way better. Never look gives you 200 health because V, or rather 7, is squishy as fuck. I'm gonna call him V most of the time because that's what we do. Um, 200 health really helps him survive because he has like literally no hit points. Latch and Fire reduces the cooldown of Grappling Hook by 2 seconds after using Explosive Dodge. This is super helpful for cooling down your Grappling Hook because you need to keep jumping in and out of combat. The Knight. Reduce the cooldown of Explosive Dodge by 2 seconds after using Grappling Hook. Do you see how all that feeds into each other? You Explosive Dodge, you Grappling Hook to get out of trouble, you come back down, you shoot some more, Explosive Dodge again. You can lay down a minefield around the whole area. It's absolutely nuts. Equivocate will help you heal for 100 after hitting an enemy with Grappling Hook. And if the enemy is a front line, you heal for 200. All right? But this is just a throwaway card. You can actually replace this with anything. And um, sometimes people prefer, like, My City or whatever. You know, it's, it's really up to you. It's really up to you how you want to roll with that. Um, okay, so, yeah. Um, let me see if there's anything else that we need. Some people like Red Room. Red Room is also good because it will give you 4% movement speed while in automatic fire mode. It can actually be helpful. Um, but yeah, uh, there's just a variety of ways you can do it. Nasty Surprise also works really well. Like, if you don't need the hit points, take Nasty Surprise because you generate 10 more ammo, which prevents reloading in combat. So this is a card that I'll also be trying. Um, but yeah, no, overall, that is that is uh, how, how this whole thing works, and I do enjoy it quite a bit. All right, so let's go through his abilities and how they work so that you can understand in detail because a lot of people don't understand 7 very well. Decree 77. Okay, when you target enemies with your mask, you will lock onto them for 0.65 seconds, which then marks them. While enemies are marked, you can refire his ultimate to trigger the mark, dealing 250 damage and fearing them for 2 seconds. It can target up to 5 enemies, and the duration of this ability is 5 seconds. Alright? Now, this can be useful for the fear status effect. That's all that's used for. To be honest, his ult is very lackluster, so I don't use it that often. The heavy SMG, okay, this is where he gets good. He has three modes. 
burst fire is when you are playing as if you're a damage dealer. Now, here's the thing about V. He is a fluid assassin. He is not somebody like Zin who exclusively plays flank. He acts during battle like a very flexible character. When you're in a good position, you're flanking around and probably using your automatic fire. When you're not in a good position or when you're pushing behind your front line and, and you still want to contribute to damage, that's when your burst fire comes in because it turns you into a sniper. Mag dump? Mag dump. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Mag dump can be very useful if, like, let's say you're engaging a tanky enemy at close range or you're bursting somebody down where it's just 1v1 and you know that you can literally dump on them. It deals 2,000 damage. Read it closely. Unload your entire magazine dealing 500 damage for every 10 bullets fired. The heavy SMG has a maximum round capacity of 40 bullets. Mag dump has an effective range of 15 units with a maximum range of 100 units. You have to be right in the enemy's face to use mag dump. All right, so it can be super bursty in the right situation, but most of the time you'll find yourself using automatic or burst mode, okay? Now, trigger discipline. This helps you swap between the different fire modes. A lot of people like this, it's very useful. And um, using it freely during battle is the key. So like I said, in when you're starting out, you'll probably be starting in automatic fire mode. In fact, I think that this should have been the default. But if you start with automatic fire mode when, you, when you're coming out of point, you're, you're acting in your flank role because that's what you should be doing at the start of the battle. As the battle progresses, you can change and shift as needed. All right, that is important. That is how you should be using his heavy SMG. Now, explosive dodge. This is the crux of the whole build. You will dodge 30 units in one of eight directions. So you can, depending on where you're, where you're pushing your movement key button, you can dodge in that direction. All right. You will drop an explosive trap that is three explosions, dealing 250 damage for each explosion. So up to 750 per trap. The explosions have an effective radius of 35 units, and two explosive traps can be out at once. So with every explosive dodge, you will automatically put down two explosive traps, all right? This is how you use it not only to get out of trouble, but also offensively, all right? You use it, the explosions start on the enemy, and you can immediately, like, start working on them with your guns, all right? That is how you want to use the explosive dodge. That's what I like about this build. Grappling hook, basically, this is, this is your other movement ability to get you in and out of trouble. And later on, you'll see some clips of our gameplay from uh, last night's stream, where you will get all of this, all, get to see all of this more in depth. But first, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go straight into a training match just to show you what kind of items to buy on 7. Alright? So we're going to go into that right now. Okay, so we're in a quick training match. I'm not going to actually showcase the match. I'm only going to showcase the very start of it just to explain. Spring loaded. Alright? That'll be your talent, and then you want your Asian certified S build. Alright? This is exactly what you've seen. This is exactly what you've seen in my explanation. All right, no changes. All right, and um, again, the the last card I have changed it to nasty surprise because it's just useful. Now to start off with, you want your life rip kill to heal. Why not deft hands? V has an insanely fast reload speed as is. You don't need that. Look at it. Look at his magdom. The reload is fast enough. All right. I'm just going to show you a little something with mag dump before we uh, exit this, all right, and shift to the clips. After this, you'll be able to see the clips of my of my work, but but if you dash in like that, you're going to die, okay? This is why mag dump is not efficient. A lot of people like to use it. I don't know why, but he's not that sort of flanker. If instead, while you're like, okay, maybe like if you come out after death, right, and you can't change it, okay, go somewhere where you know you can slowly like shift it. Shift to automatic mode, and this is the most efficient for flanking. As you can see, it does a fair amount of damage. Using your explosive dodge will then help you, you know, move in and out of combat. And you see, my explosive dodge is ready again. So this is just a quick example of how that works. And there you go. There you go. Something like that is how you play V. Okay, so the clips that I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds are exactly what you want to see. But before we get into that, all right, let me just say, let me just say, all right... 
Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my content before you watch these amazing clips, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see this channel continue running, you can drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can send super thanks on YouTube. You can become a channel member and gain access to various perks. And, you know, I hope you enjoy all of them. All right. So thank you very much. And also here is a big thank you for all of our lovely supporters. February's top supporters, Bravo7910, Alien Frost 80, Zavi Zumaki, Kazmanta, my lovely girl, Zach NFG, Shroot, I'm a Boxhead, Fran Schubert, Pinomies, Aaron Elrod, Julian Quarles, Nate the Great, Don't Mind Me, and our Throne of Honor, Puni Puni, Only Fan, Zach NFG Prestige, Nate the Great Prestige, The Forgotten Prestige, Night Ranger X Prestige, Mashari Al Shari Prestige, Ditorious Venom Prestige, King Prestige, Pinomies Prestige, Logan Schwartz Prestige, and our newest edition, Dragon Reaper. Thank you very much, and I will see you all on the next one. Enjoy the clips, folks, because you're going to see some serious killing with V right now. V is quite powerful, to be honest. Like the way you're using it. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. This, the this is the truffles way of using it. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're just getting melted. Yeah. Truffle, I'm going to... You should, you should. It's very, very oh, good. <laughs> like, once you get used to the playstyle, it's so good. Like, I'm just everywhere at once, bro. You're like destroying. Yep. Spider like Sid. Me, Spider Sid. Janky. Yeah, he's, there's no jank to it. That's what I like. I, I, I'm even getting, like, wow. that Drogas was getting healed and just got melted. <laughs> GG. Nice. Fucking GG. This, wow. this this V method, I'm posting this build tonight. This is this is the way, man. This is the legit Truffles the way, way to play V. Kudos to Truffles, yeah. bro. He fucking discovered something amazing. I fought you too, man. <laughs> I fought you and your... Someone's above me. Yep, I'm watching. I'm watching out for cans. <laughs> Freaking out, I just had the V like grapple above me. And there he like, is. Got him. Slowly moving around them. Thank you, honey. Lazan is in their back. Yeah. Someone's flanking. Sniped V. Yeah, got rid of. Oh, uh, Lazan behind us? Yep. But we're gonna push the payload in. We started, we started, we started. Nice. Lol. Yeah. Because that Azan chased me, so oh, I just yeah. ducked around him. <laughs> nice work. Nice job. Fam. Good, good work, team. Good work. You're always lost, bro. Wait, how do you get? I'm lost, lost without Kaz. Oh. oh. No, that's not romantic. I mean, leg legitimately, I'm I'm lost without Kaz because like <laughs> she she handles the directions for me. Have you have you seen me try to find some place? No way, man. Yeah, I've seen you try to navigate. Bro, there's boggle maps. Boggle in maps. In real life, I'm fine. On games, I'm terrible at navigating, but in real life, I'm okay. Life skills. Oh, the dude forgot this way to the point for one. Yeah, but it's okay. I kill. I killed many of them, so I'm all good. My my transgressions <laughs> were forgiven. Was that to me? I don't know. Oh he was God. existing happily. Now I'm just following Kaz's ass. See, otherwise I'll be directionless without it. Nice. Oh shit! I missed my shot on Tyra. No. <laughs> Tyra's in the back lines, by the way. Uh, Watch out, Tyra's in the back lines. Yeah. Bye, Vora. Good job. Turn back as fast as possible. Yep, yep, yep. Behind y'all right now. Kill their V. He wants to miss out. Yes. Hey. There we go. Pops them all. <laughs> oh. Nice work, nice work.